our next Caribbean, or our next guest, is a Caribbean Hall of Fame awardee, international acclaimed recording gospel artist. Her music touches your soul, speaks about God's unconditional love for all of us. And joining us this morning to speak about his unconditional love for her and her life lessons and musical journey, gospel recording minister, Dr. Carleen Davis. Cowan, good morning to you. So good to see you. You're looking beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Like blessing Dashway all <laughs> over you. How are you? I am giving thanks. Um, it's a joy and a pleasure to share with you again, Simone. That is good. Happy belated. Thank you. How was the birthday? The birthday was the 23rd. Different dispensation, COVID time. How was exactly. that? Exactly. Exactly. Um, it was very different. I mean, last year, my birthday, I was sailing in the harbor in, in Fort Lauderdale, you know, sharing my birthday with another friend of mine who <laughs> celebrated the same week. But here we are, couldn't do anything. So we brought Hellshire to house. Okay. <laughs> complete, and with, it's, complete with sand? Huh? Complete with sand? Mm, no, okay. couldn't 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 carry the sand. Okay, just but you know, just celebrated eating some serious escovitch fish and lobster just with the immediate family, which was rare because most times Tommy will put on a serious backyard jam with family and friends and good music. Yeah. Didn't happen this year, I but I'm you, I'm cool. I read you saying your family always surprises you on your birthday so you were expecting something but you just simply wanted to be with them and maybe take a, a long drive to the country because in this time when we're also cooped up you just wanted That's to be able to get out did you get the chance to do that not yet because okay. we're still celebrating and okay. i'm looking forward to just taking in the landscape jamaica's landscape it's so beautiful to get out and just enjoy the really peace. is really and yes. especially no i mean tell me what the last year has been like for you. I mean, we're all spending so much time in house, inside, um, you know, that no, just being able to get outside for a long drive is considered a, a, almost a luxury. Uh, it how, is. how have you adjusted to this last year, you and your family? Well, we've done, well, you know, earlier last year, we did a lot of that driving, going out and just taking in Jamaica. Um, but this year, as you know, well, last year into this year, Tommy had major surgery. So we just find ourselves just going into our archives, introspectively looking at where we are, what we have in our hand, how can we use it, take it to the next level. So it's an interesting time because you find people will even call us that we haven't heard from in donkey's years. You know, just people are, there's a lot of reflection and looking at what we have and how we can retool it and use it for the next generation. So, you know, it has its plus and it's, it's really a time of taking time out from being so busy. And I'm sure everyone can identify with that. Sure. You know, you realize that you were really busy. Sure, sure. Everybody has had the clutch whether you want to or not. How is Sir Tommy doing? Post he's surgery. doing great he's Good. doing great we're back in the recording studio he's writing and taking his interviews again you know especially in the middle of reggae month you know mm -hmm. he's getting the calls mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. i can imagine um so you found time in all of this i mean we've had a lot of it but you also found the creativity to be able to work and i hear that there's new music coming there's new music coming and there's re-revised music coming because there are a lot of songs that you know we recorded we didn't release or they didn't really get the exposure even though they were released so we want to sit back now and revamp them and 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 get them out there because i think they're great songs yeah and i it, i think the timing is right right now so it's an album we're working, we, we haven't decided if it's an album, if it's an EP or it's a single, but we're just um, bringing all the songs together, rewriting some of them, rearranging some of them, putting some new beats on them. And um, 
just take it and there's some songs that i wrote many 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 years ago songs that speaks of my relationship with tommy you know Aww. and i'd like to, i'd like to get those out i want to so, hear those yeah can yeah, imagine I, those are going to be beautiful um I, I we're listening to one now called is it so thankful is that the title um praising god I think this one praising god okay and i i know obviously you've been doing that for a long long time you just spoke about music with your um husband about your husband when you when you think back on your career and you think back on your life we know your story you've done um quite a bit you've been through quite a lot um you have a lot of reason to still be praising god what are some of the things you are most most thankful for for me it was just what i'm grateful and thankful for the people in my life you know starting with family um the people behind the scenes who have stood with me who have mentored me have trained me up you know the musicians the players of instruments the singers um even the the promoters that you, you know you don't always see them you get the call and they want you to come here do this the radio television people like yourself um you know the 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 people who come to your concerts you realize that without them we wouldn't be where we are today i wouldn't be where i am today and so i'm truly grateful and especially as we celebrate reggae month i'm just saying thank you everyone who have contributed to where i am today and how how it has unveiled you know yeah. Special thanks to Tommy and people like Minister Babsy Grange. These are people who managed me. Well, Tommy is still managing me, <laughs> and they have they continue to invest in me. You know, so you're never too old to learn, never too old to appreciate what 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 they have done for you and what you have. You know, we have to recognize that we have a gift here that needs. constant nurturing. Yeah, I wonder when you think about reggae music as we talk about reggae month, the relationship you see between reggae and gospel. Um because so many artists are kind of wedging themselves into have well, I don't say wedging into that gap because music is music. Um yes. reggae gospel reggae is 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 just reggae music with um with Christian lyrics um but right. what what relationship have you cuz you know there was a time when people were pushing back against gospel reggae and dance hall reggae but we seem to have cleared that hurdle do you think um we're still the challenges are still there but i'm really? confident yeah it's still there i mean we've had some experiences that wouldn't talk about it now but um i you have to be confident in who you are and what you know god has given you and this is the genre god has given this nation and i am very proud of it and know that i can apply the gospel to it it, it it's amazing the transformation that i see when i go out to minister that they can identify with the rhythm and then when the gospel is now preached you know it just open up a, a whole new world for them to know that I can celebrate my God in this genre. I don't have to go outside of myself to appreciate who I am. Yeah. Well, um yeah. your journey is very inspiring to many of us, certainly to me. Uh having been bold some of the balls that you've been bold and you've batted and you you keep going and you're looking today as young and as fresh and as inspired as ever. Um I don't know what you're drinking but I would like some. Just send some down here. <laughs> Please. And I then, will email I will I will WhatsApp some or I'll um Instagram some. Too. Yes, yes, yes. Or just give it to Naomi and she'll pass it um down to me. By the way, we have to break, but let me tell you something. That girl that you have birthed. I mean, I look at you and I see her and I look at her and I see you and so you must feel so good to know the legacy. is is continuing. What a I'm blessing. I'm so grateful. Yeah. That that you know that she has um ob- observed what we have and just bring it it on into her own, mm-hmm. you know? Mhm. It's in her yeah. DNA. Thank you so much, Doc. Appreciate the stop in this morning. Please give our love to Sir Tommy. Um we'd love to talk to him soon as well. Yes. God bless you too, small. Enjoy. You. Enjoy. Thank you so yeah. much, Dr. Carlene yeah. Davis. 
Cowan, gospel recording minister. Nice little catch up, eh? Good for my art this morning. All right, next, catch the taxi. Which taxi? Me not catch no taxi. Me not take no taxi with Nefril. Nefril have to take his own taxi and I will take another one. And if he have to take it, I will walk. I won't walk. I'll take the taxi. We'll be right back. Catch the taxi.